Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we're going to be playing as Tyrael, the angelic being of justice. Reckoning is at hand. Alright, today on the Cursed Hollow, we have Cho and Gal, Jaina and Chen and Tyrael. So we got Triple Warrior. Triple Warrior. All right. Enemy team, we got Diablo, Raynor, Artanis, Gazlo, and Kael'thas. That Raynor and Kael'thas, man. I mean, Gaul and Janet could do some pretty good damage. Um, fuck. This is going to be... This is going to be interesting. Um, at level 1, I mean, we could go a little bit more damage since we do have a Cho. Mm, we do have a Chen. Um, damn, I don't know. This is hard. This is hard. Should we go for more damage? Should we build just to, like, to get in people's ways? Or should we just build just tanky, just o overall? We'll build, we'll, build a, we'll build tanky, and we'll just try to get in everybody's way and do what, uh, do what we could do. So we're going to go with Regeneration Master at level 1. Uh, this motherfucking Kael'thas. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't gonna do none of that. You ain't gonna do none of that. So, what is Tyrael's role in this game? Well, obviously, he is a very, very excellent frontline character. Uh, if I do say so myself. Um, very, 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 very good. Oh, I didn't even throw my... I thought I threw it. Oh, shit. And here I was trying to fucking toss my sword, and I didn't even do it. Um, he's a really good frontline character, really good at just being in the way of everybody. Looks like our Cho is doing a, being uncontested in the middle lane. Okay, no, nah, he's got that Diablo to worry about. Uh, looks like it's Raynor versus Chen and Jaina in the top lane. I got to deal with this Artanis now, Gazlo now, fucking and Kelthos. Wow. So, Asterio, we're really made to just. Just do a lot of, just do a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage. What am I talking about? We're just there to be in the way. But obviously, if we're by ourselves, we can't really do much. Um, by ourselves, we can only do, like I said, so much. So, um, the fact that our friendly team is not here is a really, really big um, issue. Um, can't really solo bot by myself. Looks like Cho's gonna be making its way down and giving me a hand, a hand over here. Give Chose that attack speed. Oh, I didn't even see that. Man, I'm doing so good at this game. I'm just I'm just so damn good. Now, because we don't have a support, I am going to be taking Amplified Healing. This is going to uh, further increase my survivability, especially with taking the Regen Master um, at level at level one. I really don't want to I really don't want to use that at all. Uh, so I want nothing to do with that. Um, we're just gonna stay in lane a little bit. I feel like the friendly team has does not need me. Uh, I am staying in lane mainly because Kel'Thas and um and Gazlo are still here. I need to dip on the fuck out of here. Kel'Thas can potentially gravity lapse me, but doesn't look like he actually has the it off cooldown. Well, wow, my mouse is where's my mouse? Oh, okay, I was like, oh no, where's my mouse? We did go back, so we can just potentially come up here and try and help. It is uh, technically a 4v2 up there, uh, so this should be perfectly fine. I'm going to go soak the middle lane. Uh, so, Tyrael's abilities, because I didn't fucking explain any of them. Uh, our Q ability is called Eldruin's Might. What this is going to do is going to launch our sword into a, you know, into within an area. And we can hit our... Q again and <laughs> essentially teleport. Teleport to it. Diablo looking like oh my god, yeah, there's three people. Everywhere I go, there's just three people. Three people. I can't I can't seem to get away from them for some odd fucking reason. Well maybe because they want to contest me. Dude. Our W ability is called Righteousness. This is gonna drop a shield on me. Um and everyone, all my friendly allies around me. <clears throat> just a really small shield, nothing too crazy. 
Uh, it's enough to just like kind of survive some bit of damage. Yeah, no. Um, at level seven, uh, what do we got? We got Cho, we got Go, we got Chen. I think we are going to go with mm, Battle Momentum, maybe. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with Battle Momentum. Battle Momentum is going to decrease the cooldown on all our abilities. Um, every time we auto attack, I'm actually gonna go help our Cho because they're pinging me like fucking crazy. Like crazy, man. So we're gonna take out this fucking Gaslow. Oh, yeah. I need a piece out, though. I'm about to fucking die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Yep. I need to make something happen here. Maybe we can get Diablo. Nope, not enough damage to kill Diablo, but definitely enough to keep him out of this fight overall altogether. Um, maybe I should have built a little bit more damage since we do have a Chen and we do have a Cho. Uh, it's looking like Chen is definitely building more, Ch a little bit more uh, damage than tankiness. So I think he went the proper route. Chen can do a lot of damage uh, if built correctly. Uh, me, I guess I'm just building a little bit more, more tanky. I guess I'm amplify healing. Ba well, the first two talents are going to be, you know, play a role in that. But I guess we can see where we're going throughout the game. See what, see what's needed for. We do, we might need a little bit more damage, so I could build a little bit for some more talent, uh, damage talents, uh, in the later game. That's not a problem. Diablo and fucking Artanis, and then I'm like, Jane, are you gonna leave me? Are you leaving me? Are you, are you, are you trying to pull a? What are you trying to do there? Ring of Frost or Blizzard? Not Ring of Frost. What's Ring of Frost? I don't know what that is. Just gotta try to get in the way. I know I didn't do a very good job there. Chen joining us in the middle lane. Potentially gonna make something happen with this. I don't think so. He's gonna get body blocked pretty fucking hard. I'm just gonna go ahead and shield him. Uh, and then drop my Eldruin's Might. Teleport behind him. Use that Smite and kill him. Get the fuck out of there um at this level range i could go for sanctification um but i think judgment would do me a lot better in this particular match mainly because uh, it'll allow me to engage more on people from a longer range uh just like this gaslow here you know just like that boom you know i just realized something i say just like that a lot i went back and i, and I watched one of my videos just for shits and gigs and see uh see what i can improve on and I say that a lot. I need to cut that shit out. <laughs> oh, I think so anyway. I think I need to cut that shit out. I feel I can say or, you know, there are better, there are better, I don't know. I don't know the word for it. But we need to make some kind of push. Jaina wanted to take this boss. Doesn't look like the friendly team is going to respond. But, I mean, if you want to take it, I'm all for it. If you want to take it, I am all for it. I am there with you. I am here. I am your spear. I am your shield, for I am justice itself. I'm gonna get fucking pwned if I stay in here too long. Yeah. There's definitely, we definitely don't have enough of us for me to actually tank this. Uh, so, Jaina, you need to peace on out, girl. We're definitely not gonna get this. Friendly team didn't respond to this at all. I'm gonna get killed if I stay here. Yeah, bad call on our part. Bad call on our part. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> that's okay. I didn't think getting the going for the boss was that great of an idea anyway. Um, there was definitely better play. I think them pushing into the into the middle lane was a, a better way way better play than us trying to go for the boss. Jaina needs to be extremely careful. Uh, not to stay up there too long okay looks like she's pushing back now it looks like Cho'Gall and Chen uh, still pushing the middle lane quite a bit uh, going back to my abilities our E ability is called uh, smite this is going to drop you know a little little fucking thing what are they doing what are they pinging for so they all need help in the bottom lane well don't don't try to don't don't try to team fight now yeah, I wouldn't die for it. Um, at this level range, are they taking the boss? Looks like Kel'Thas is trying to take the boss by himself. Um, at this level range, we could, like I said, go for a little bit more tanky or go for a little bit more damage. Oh, that is a lot. 
Oh fuck, that is a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Oh, I got stunned. Yeah, I am not. I don't want anything to do with this. Yeah, fuck all that. Yeah, you guys are fucking nuts. <laughs> fuck you guys. Oh shit. Jaina, run! You guys are crazy. I'm going back there. Uh, I love 13. I can go for a little bit more damage, or I can go for a um, burning rage. Mm, general talents, so some health regen. Mm, yeah, we'll go for angelic absorption. Um, whenever we, whenever we have a shield and we get attacked. No, guys, if enemies that attack you while shielded grant you this um <clears throat> this little hot that it gives uh they want to go for the i say go for boss yeah i say go for boss i think that's the better play right now so we're definitely going to be doing that because i mean we can let them have the tribute it's just one tribute i'm not i don't feel like we're going to lose much by just letting them have one one tribute i can go in on kelthos pretty hard right now oh ho, ho, ho! That combo! That combo! Nice. That was awesome. Very nicely timed ultimate there by our friendly Chuggle. That was awesome. I, I've i never seen that happen. Stunned him in place. How long do I stun him for? I stunned him for 1.5 seconds, which was more than enough time to do some serious damage with that Cho ultimate. That was insane. I've never actually seen myself do that. I've never done that. Oh, shit. Uh, we got 10 seconds on boss. Uh, we have to be, have to be extremely careful though, because we could potentially still, we can get ganked right now if we're not careful. So we are going to be extremely careful here, because they are going to focus on the boss. Jaina taking the shrine. I'm going to set myself up to actually maybe gank somebody, uh, in case our Jaina needs it. But it doesn't look like they're going to. It looks like they're focusing down the boss that we got, and they took it down pretty quickly actually not gonna lie uh great thing about battle momentum guys um a lot of people don't really think that like this is a thing but battle momentum does uh reduce the cooldown i don't i didn't mean to use my endurance and do aldrin's might um the, people don't think that the that the battle momentum reduced the cooldown on your ultimate and why i'm not i'm not really sure but but it does i promise you it does um we could potentially get another Oh, this comes a stun coming out from Diablo. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, Chen, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, he used that ultimate to try, to try and get away. The Banshee's coming out from Jim Raynor. It's going to be enough to keep him alive. Uh, at this rate, level range, we're going to go with Holy Ground. Holy Ground is going to allow um, our friendly team. I'm going to go into Nartanis. Yes. So essentially what it's going to do, it's going to create a small little barrier and it's going to prevent the enemy team from actually walking in through it. Uh, really, really adds a lot of control uh, when you're playing as Tyrael. It is so good. It is so good. Because essentially if you if, if a melee assassin is trying to get uh, to your you know your front or your back line uh you can just teleport right next to them and create this little ground the little thing on the ground that will prevent the enemy team from actually doing that diablo looking like he was going to try to come in and do something gaslow i could see you down there bro um you're not you're not fooling anybody so right here i'm cutting off his escape beautiful very nicely done very nice now great body block from our friendly chen i don't know why i did the the fart noise right now did you hear that <laughs> i don't know why i did that i'm so silly i'm a silly bean so we could have potentially blocked uh, the escape from the enemy team there, but I don't think I should have. Not diving in for it was a good idea. Um, and building more tanky, I think, was the better idea also as well. Um, we could potentially push in here and just uh, do some meaningful siege damage. Uh, we do have our shield. <coughs> Purifier even coming out on our friendly Cho. Let's see, what are you doing, Artanis? What are you doing? Where are we going with this? What can we do? What can we do? We could potentially just do this. Try to save everybody. We can just retreat right now. I need to dip on out. I need to dip out. Oh, grab a bomb coming out. 
getting our friendly Cho and our friendly Jaina. Looking like it's going to do some serious damage to them. If he tries to escape, I can actually cut him off uh, and do some do something with it. I don't know. I need to dip out. Yeah, I need to, I need to go. I need to go. I just need to go. Cho'Gal, we need to go. We need to fucking go. We did lose two people. We traded two for one there. That's definitely not a good trade-off. But with this, we can potentially get this curse. And there comes the f enemy Jim Rayner trying to make stuff happen. And potentially, I could just come in here and block him out, out of here. make Keep them out for just a little bit. Not enough time to actually get the tribute. But enough time to... Ah! Ooh, grab your laps. Come on. Oof! This is they have to go around it now when that happens. They have to go completely around it. Now, we lit, we did lose that tribute, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, uh, for various reasons, obviously. Oh, Cho'Gal. No, oh, Cho, go in it. No, Cho'Gal, why? You should have gone in my right, my spite, bro. No. Oh, man. All right, Jane, I'll help you out. I'll go ahead and help you out. I'll go ahead and help you out. Uh, I'm definitely not utilizing my shield as much as I as, as I can be, which is just really, um, really bad. Keep up, the fight. Keep up the fight. Looks like Chen is trying to trade with the enemy Artanis. I'm actually going to go in on him and just fuck his world up. Yes. Get out of here. Got 10 kills. Looks like, looks like there's a boss fight going down in the bottom lane. I do not have any mana, so this is not going to end well for us um, in any way, I don't think. Ooh, they did capture the boss. I'm going to cut off Jablo's escape. Yep. No, Gina. Nice ice block. Very nice ice block. The body block's coming in to save our friendly Jaina. Whew. So we could have actually, I, I hesitated a little bit. I hesitated. So I, I, f I feel like if I didn't hesitate there at the end, um, we could have both saved Jaina and taken that boss. But I hesitated because I didn't have any mana. And that was just a really bad call on my part. Um, so yeah, my really bad play on my part. Really bad call. I could have dove in there a lot quicker with my Eldruin's Might. And you know, potentially made made some made something happen, but you know that's what happens when you get in moments of uh, hesitation. There, you you hesitate, <laughs> and shit happens, and then you don't you, you don't you can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? You knows what I'm saying? We are really good ahead on the XP. We have a good, not a commanding lead, but we got a pretty good lead. Uh, we are gonna hit level 20 before the enemy team, so that's that's pretty good. Um, looks like they are going to try to take the boss as well. Um, but we can actually go in on Jim Rayner here. And fucking ruin his fucking life. Uh, now, we could take the upgrade to the... Um, our... Our judgment, which will just increase the range by 50% and reduce its cooldown by 30 seconds. This is going to bring it down to 50 seconds. So, if we have... Um, Enough. Yeah, if we have... With battle momentum, this just further secures our... Um, our ability to use it actually uh, but it doesn't look like we're gonna need it so we're actually gonna go with nexus blades um, we could actually go in corn and win 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 nicely done gg very nicely done. Very well played by the friendly team. I don't feel like this game was completely one-sided, but it definitely didn't go in favor of the friendly team. Triple tank is 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 very very nasty combination, and um, when you have three good tanks, I mean especially the Cho'Gal. Cho'Gal is just a you know just a really really hard person to fucking kill. Um, but I feel like their team had a lot of potential on being able to you know to take. Um, out Archo. Oh, let's see. They had Rainer and Artanis. Yeah, with with Titan Killer and Giant Killer. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. So they did take Giant and Titan Killer. Um, puts Archo Gaul in a very, very, very bad position. Uh, but it doesn't look like it looks like we just had the better play overall. 
Um, <clears throat> this is stats. I wasn't really doing trying to do much damage. I mean, 19,000, just shy of 20,000. Um, I still stayed relatively competitive, competitive uh, with, with, you know, with, you know I, I stayed in decent range. I wasn't trying to do damage. I was just trying to stay in control, trying to keep the enemy team within a, you know, an area. You know, kind of trying to keep our our buddies sped up, trying to keep them slowed down with the help of Jaina. That really helps a lot. So at level one, we did we did build a little bit more tanky. It looks like Chen took the more damage route, which is actually excellent. But I feel he could have done a little bit more damage. Thirty six thousand, not too bad. At level one, we took Regeneration Master. At level four, we took Amplified Healing. At level seven, we took Battle Momentum. At level ten, we took a Judgment. At level thirteen, we took Angelic Absorption. At level sixteen, we took Holy Ground. And at level twenty, we took Next Six Blaze. Now, at level twenty, you can take the upgrade to Judgment to reduce its cooldown by fifty percent, especially if you have Battle Momentum. This is going to further reduce it more, allowing you to use it a lot more in combat. Or to engage on somebody, uh, but if you want to do just a slightly more damage, you know you can go for next blades like I did here. And essentially, I didn't really use it for the damage boost. Um, I did it for the slow. Uh, this is going to add more control to you as Tyrael, especially when you have hold the ground that creates that ring on the ground that block that blocks anybody from walking through it, uh, which is really useful, really useful, really good for. Um, Keeping people boxed in and just really, you know, giving it to them. Raw dog status. Raw dog. We got. We saw an excellent combination earlier with Judgment and uh, Shadow Bolt Volley there on the enemy Kelthos. That was beautiful. I've never seen that happen with me as Tyrio, but I'm sure other people have seen it and they do it. I don't know. <laughs> Tyrio is an awesome character, guys. I definitely recommend you guys pick him up if you guys are interested in, you know, the Warriors. Definitely get, give him a try. He's definitely interesting. Really awesome. Really, really awesome. Well, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.